Well, hey YouTube, it's Elvis Ammo here. Hey, today I want to talk about primer and powder storage. Okay, um, this was a suggested video given to me by uh, one of our old timers, long timers. And uh, anyway, I thought it would be a great idea. I've never done a video on it. And uh, so here we go. Here's what we're going to talk about. Uh, we're going to talk about how to store our powder and primers properly and keep, you know, how we can keep the moisture out of it, how we can protect it from fire, how we can protect you from fire. Um, in the case of a fire, how you would protect yourself and the firefighters possibly that have come to your house to help you get the fire out. And um, so, uh, first of all, I'm going to show you how and what not to do, okay? Um, some of you already see this can right here and you know what I'm about to show you. So, first of all, if you like these videos, let me know it by just hitting the like button. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. So here's what not to do. All right. Now, I acquired this powder from someone a long time ago. And I still have it. And I'm thankful that I do because it's a great example to show you right now. So this is a powder that was stored improperly. All right. It was stored in an outbuilding. It was a closed outbuilding but it had moisture and trees around it and all that kind of stuff and uh, you can see all that rust, that surface rust from this can mixed in with the powder. You can see that. It is in bad shape. <laughs> so, um, you know, the first mistake I guess is uh, they changed the container. Um, I never recommend putting powder from the container that it comes in into another container that's just me all right so now in order to keep moisture well there's a there's kind of a layering effect that I like all right so uh, uh, first of all uh, I'll show you this example right here okay this is an example of a way that you can store primers or powder all right and uh, what this is, is just a cooler inside of a wood box. And it has some primers inside of it. All right. So the, what the, the, the best scenario, of course, is to have air conditioning, you know, climate control, heat and air, you know. And I know that's not always possible. So even if whether you're whether you have it in climate control or not, um, this is a great way to prevent temperature change. You take an old cooler, you can it's plastic. If fire was to get on it, it would melt this and whatever the contents of it is inside, it would just pop off like firecrackers instead of building up pressure and you know going kaboom that kind of thing so that's what we're looking out for save the firefighters that are trying to put your fire out and your family you know if you're still in the house or near the building or whatever the situation you fill in the blank um, that kind of thing okay so this is a great example of storing primers and powder this is my number one recommendation as a matter of fact an old cooler a wood box you have layers, okay? And this lid just sets down on it. Just like that. It's not locked closed or anything. So um, if the fire was to get this box, it would it would have to burn the box and then burn or melt the cooler and heat the contents up for the contents to ignite. All right, so this is a good situation. Now, in preparation of this video, I thought of something even better. Um, another thing you could do is you could line this box, this like one inch 
wood box here um, which would you know sustain heat for a while and the cooler would too um, before it combusts of course but one thing you could do on top of this is you could line this wooden box with a sheetrock all right so that will give you more time and possibly the fire would have passed this by before it ignites the contents of it uh, i think that's a brilliant idea in my opinion um, the thing that you don't want to do is to store it in a, a tightly sealed metal box like an ammo can for instance and i know that you guys are doing this and i'm not telling you anything about you know i'm not telling you not to do it i'm just telling you what the consequences could be so you know you have your contents in here and you know the fire is brewing out here and it heats the contents and you know this thing is going to build up pressure you know and when you know and i don't have to explain the rest right so it, this is just considered a no-no in the business okay so i'm just throwing that out there all right so ammo cans in my opinion is out the the second thing that you can do is um and these go for powder and primers by the way um if i haven't already said that um the other thing that you can do is you know if you have a large safe and now you have to interject some logic and common sense here because um i'm probably going to catch some flack from some folks for saying this i'm not necessarily the safety nick guy but i do have my own common sense and logic that i interject in all situations so if you had a small amount that you were trying to preserve in a safe for instance that was supposedly fireproof um then if it's a large enough safe and a small enough amount of powder or primers which i would keep separate if i was you powder or primers and not both together um then technically you know it, it, you could possibly preserve it in a safe that didn't build up to temperature to ignite the contents that kind of thing um and if it did go the the safe would be large enough to it, you know for the pressure to expand without you know possibly hurting someone is what i'm getting at okay so that i'm going to clear off of that subject for a second <laughs> so um the one thing that you'll see uh in in all of my logic that i use for for uh storing primers and powder is i, I really like coolers all right um, now this is not the very best idea unless this foam cooler, this was just like an Omaha steak container, right? Nice thick. But what it does do is it keeps moisture out because the temperature change is very slow. It's slow to heat, slow to cool. So you don't get as much moisture built up in here. Um, but this foam with a wood box around it and um, some sheetrock around that could be a better option. All right, so uh, the next thing is, in order to keep moisture out, one thing that we like to do is use these desiccant packs. And we get them in all kinds of you know, supplies. You order something from Amazon and you get these. Um, I bought you know, a big you know, bags of desiccant and uh and use uh coffee filters and uh you know it's a coffee filter cone i folded it over and stapled it closed and taped it too and uh so it's desiccant is in there this is by far the best stuff you could possibly use to keep moisture out of the contents inside of any box okay it just works great and you can reuse it if it gets old, you can take and put this in the oven. You can set the oven for like 200 degrees. You could crack the door open with uh, 
you know, a spoon or something, just a barely a little crack open to let the moisture out and this stuff will re-dry and you can reuse it like brand new. And you can put your packs all over the place inside your containers. All right. Um, the next thing, all right, you can, uh, let's say, I, work, I like layers. So you can take your cooler in a wooden box and um, sheetrock around the outside of it and uh, and then uh, 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 well let me show you let's see I'm gonna zoom in here uh, let me uh, I'm gonna show you so the the next thing that you can do is go ahead and and uh, you know you have your your sheetrock box I'm gonna just whip it around right here there you go and uh, so those are some uh, vented lockers okay now there's vented lockers right there and uh, those lockers have plenty of air traveling all through them and around them and all of that kind of thing you don't have to worry about combusting inside of a locker like that so so for instance you know you have Oh, I went the wrong way. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm zipping you around. I'm sorry. Um, so, so now you have, uh, you know, your cooler inside of a wooden box with sheetrock lined around that inside of a metal locker, for instance, or a metal cabinet. You know, the metal, old metal file cabinets and things like that. They are airy. They're not, uh, you know, tightly closed off to combust. The contents inside them that kind of thing so just think about that uh, you know that's uh I'm gonna look at my little note here and see if I left something out I don't think so I'm just kind of you know seeing uh, well I, I guess the other thing that I could mention is uh, the other thing that you can do to help yourself is to put these put all of this stuff in the least likely place that will start a fire to begin with you know Maybe not as close as you can get them to a, a breaker box or uh, in a, you know, near a kitchen or near open flames or fires. You name it, you fill in the blank. That kind of thing. And also keep your primers and your powder as far apart as possible. That would be the other suggestion. And if you have a lot of product, then you can space these things out to where you don't have all your powder in one place or all of your primers in one place and that kind of thing so um yeah so that's uh that's about it i say the ammo can is out you know for me just because of what i mentioned um that kind of thing so uh i hope this guy i hope this uh video helped you guys out in some way please hit that thumbs up and i will see you in the next video